Hello everyone, the iOS 17 public beta has just came out, so let's go and take a look at it. Now I did just install it on my iPhone 12, and it was a pretty quick install, pretty easy, nothing super crazy. I mean, it was quick for how big this update was. Now, this is a public beta. Now, even though it's a public beta, and this is technically a little bit more secure than maybe the official beta, like the yeah, public the random beta that Apple makes, there is nothing more I would recommend everyone to do than not installing this. Even though this is a public beta, it still makes zero sense to install this update, and I would just recommend avoiding it like the plague. Don't even think about installing this, especially on your personal phone. Now, if you have some sort of side phone, some phone you're not using anymore, or whatever, like it's a broken phone, or let's say it's a, your old phone you don't really care about, then go for it. It doesn't really matter because you're not really using that phone. Don't go crazy. Make sure you still kind of make a backup. But if you are rocking a public beta, it is still prone to bugs. You can still have lots of issues. So I'm just making that disclaimer. Now, with that being said, the public beta came out to 6.25 gigabytes. So definitely not the biggest update in the world. I, no, actually, this is, I think, one of the biggest updates I've ever seen, actually, on any sort of beta out there. So it came with a lot of improvements, I guess, and a lot of features coming at least from iOS 16. I was running beta 3 on this. So I did actually just randomly install the public beta on this coming from beta 3. So I basically had to reinstall it. And it's interesting because it is basically the same thing as far as I know as beta 3. So if we take a look here, you can see I'm on the latest beta. I actually like a lot how you can switch from the public beta to the regular beta just from here. But do keep in mind you can't go back down to iOS 16 once you're on iOS 17. So keep that in mind in the back of your head. Now iOS 17 brought a lot of cool features and a lot of changes. I'm not going to go through each individual change because we've already talked about that a lot and I'm sure a lot of you already know about some of this stuff. There were changes within the phone call application. We have name drop, we have share drop, whatever that thing is called. We have a lot more things within iMessage, which a lot of things were changed here, which is really cool. So there have been lots of improvements and lots of changes, but in particular, when it comes down to iOS 17, the public beta, this is going to be basically as secure of a version or as stable of a version as a beta as you can get because Apple goes through, they release the you know, beta, so the random beta that comes out. I'll give you a little example. So when we get the beta, it, let's say it comes out on Monday, the public beta doesn't come out until a day or two after. Because after a day or two, Apple will go ahead and basically you know, fix those issues that people will complain about basically the first day. And the public beta will be a little bit more secure, a little bit more stable. It could There's a chance it could be worse, who knows? But as of right now, that's usually the way it goes. And within this public beta, everything seems to be pretty much the same thing. There's not really a lot of issues. It seems pretty much the same thing that we had before. So I'm not really complaining about it. And even if we take a look at the release log, it says iOS beta gives you an early preview of upcoming apps, features, and technologies. Please back up your phone before you install the beta. I love that Apple said that so much. That is so important. And that is something that's very, very important when you're installing this next beta because you don't want to go ahead and just install this beta and not have a backup. So I will tell you there's lots of cool improvements. There's lots of cool changes. Do not install this beta. I will let you all know in a couple of days basically how the performance has been, how the stability has gone. I'm going to keep this iPhone on my desk and mess around with it every once in a while and use it as much as I can. That way I can keep you guys updated. But for the most part, like I said before, do not install this beta. It's just not worth installing. And you are far, far better off actually installing the official version when that officially comes out very soon. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so long.